Hello friends, welcome to the virtual anatomy classes. Now, today we are going to study about upper respiratory way, airway anatomy. Now, to make you more familiar with your anatomy classes, now, I'm so this. being virtual, uh, you may get a feel of that. Now, so coming to the point, as uh, we are going to study in a way that uh, it is a virtual uh, simula uh, simulating uh, nasal rhinoscopy that is uh, nasal endoscopy now uh, just to give you a quick introduction of upper respiratory anatomy uh, here we have uh, as you can see turbinates superior turbinate middle turbinate and inferior turbinate now uh, these are uh, covered with mucous membrane as we know when we see our uh, bone uh, uh, just for spotting various foramina and other things in skull so when we uh, it's, it's, it is a lateral view of nasal cavity and uh, this are yeah, covered with mucous membrane so you can here see the folds also of mucous membrane now just coming to the point these are turbinates superior conchi, middle and inferior conchi and between them we find uh, meatuses, subium in middle and inferior meatus. Now uh, just to remind you that uh, superior middle turbinates are part of ethmoid bone and uh, inferior is a uh, dif uh, different bone that is inferior nasal conchi. Now it's a vestibule uh, and you can see more uh, spinal sinus and we have part of spinal bone this is frontal bone and this is nasal bone and we can see also the posterior pharyngeal tissue that is posterior pharyngeal tissue uh, part of lymphoid tissue that is also known as adenoidal pad as we have uh, heard of uh, adenoids but it's uh, technical it's adenoiditis and we may also see sometimes the what we say adenoid facies as they have enlarged group and these are this condition is found in children now we have soft pill and hard pill hard pill it is made of bone and it is made up of muscles it is part of oropharyngeal isthmus and we have of epiglottis covering of glottis that is trachea uh, uh, playing a an important part uh, important role in swallowing now uh, we uh, now just uh, after finishing the quick overview of upper respiratory anatomy let's do the endoscopy okay now just to orient you this is a mega picture of uh, what we can uh, what we can tell that is that here is a yellow dot as you can see here clearly that is that points are tip of endoscope and this is now uh, wall of cavity that is sorry nasal room and we have then trachea part now just as you can see here with yellow dot we now we'll follow this just to orient you once again uh, we can now just imagine that it is a uh, it is a vestibule of patient and we have interested uh, inserted a, a nasal endoscope we are we are this opening now looking coming up now we can see the conchi that is the turbinates now making it more straight now up we go right we go left we go i'll tell you where we go okay now upper we can see the upper wall of nasal vestibule uh, vestibule just apart we can see the uh, mucus covering well the patient is good doing good no signs of inflammation okay now just I have just said inflammation no signs of inflammation as to make it more real as we are doing it in the rhinoscopy in patient but we have normal patient just we have to not anatomy clearly now going deep uh, now here we see some line marks first telling you this it is a nasal septum as you know it is a medial wall of nasal cavity we can look over it this may be the bony part of nasal cavity that is voma bone and from above we have its model 
part, uh, perpendicular part, and from behind we have septal cartilage. Now, it is orifice of nasal lacrimal duct. Now, we often confuse when we study about the uh, ductal lacrimal duct and nasal lacrimal duct system, where it exactly opens. Now, uh, I may expect that you have got the uh, idea, definite idea of a nasal lacrimal duct as it connects the eye part of uh, lacrimal gland to the nasal. That's why we often, uh, our nose runs when we cry a lot as the excess tears are drained through this duct and this is the opening of nasal lacrimal duct just beneath the inferior concave. Now, going more further, it is inferior meatus this is the inferior turbinate as I told you earlier in the picture now going up just wait a minute wait a minute take it easy now inferior turbinate mm. we here point out middle meatus beneath the middle turbinate this is to mind you again it is the lateral wall and it is the medial wall of nasal cavity middle turbinate going up first to superior turbinate as you see here we have reached here superior turbinate now going further more we find this superior turbinate as I told you earlier now as we just making it more comprehensible we go down parallel axis perpendicular axis now going further we see now now here it is a posterior coena uh, what is posterior coena I will tell you later but uh, just to see previous structures that we left here we have vomer that is septal uh, part of nasal septum as you can see the hole we have septum covered here now going now we move to Arithmite, uh, yeah. This is tubal tonsil, that is a part of earlier ring. I hope you are aware of it. And this is salpino pharyngeal fold. We can have an idea what is that. It is a vertical fold of mucous membrane that contains a septal uh, salpino pharyngeus muscle and attached to the lower portion of torus tuberis now just to uh, give you a brief that is just a fold of mucous membrane and just that's it tubule tonsil and here we have posterior coena now actually it is the posterior boundary of the nasal cavity and the anterior boundary of the posterior nasal coenex now just to remind you it's overview anatomy we can look over the picture again that is the posterior coena what we call this it is the entry of nasal nasal pharynx part and this is the opening of your staking tube that we have just seen it you may look it is opening of staking tube now going deep as we have seen I think every important landmark, landmark. As you can see here, the destination points, adenoidal point, arterial, epiglottic fold. Now these, uh, just we have to, to, to take the overview. It's not going to some much deep. It is adenoidal pad. I hope you remember from the diagram. This is Voma again. Going more deep to the patient's throat. Now. Here we have a denodal pad, Rosemary tubal tonsil again, Voma. Now just uh, we are looking from its posterior view, how it looks.
now we are seeing from backward to forward as from where we came now it's going to more deep we see the entry to trachea as you can see clearly going deep to patient's throat this is lingual tons tonsil this is uvula now you can imagine where are we